Hello people of the internet, Andrew here, and after six hours of watching Money Heist filming review videos, I am done the series, and honestly, the ending was very disappointing. But since I have to say it, this is quite a mouthful. I just finished episode, let me see what the name was. I am very prepared, am I? <laughs> I am, I finished Money Heist, part five, volume two, episode 10. A family tradition. And honestly, it was disappointing. There's a lot of loose ends that weren't tied up and I am, I'm unhappy with it, but it's not a bad finale, but it feels more like a season finale more than a series finale. They didn't kill a Octoro. He lived. He, there, there is no closure. That asshole needed a bullet in his brain before the series ended, but that didn't happen. The whole them stealing the gold thing really didn't turn out nothing. They just returned it to them and promised a portion of it. Honestly. Like, to me, there's two finales. The finale of the first heist, when they were in the Royal Mint of Spain... And that huge gunfight, Berlin's death, that whole thing, that was an amazing finale. But this finale was just Tamayo yelling at them, threatening to kill them. Oh my god, I almost fell for it. I had a feeling, but when I heard the gunshots and saw the body bags come out of the bank, I was like, no, they did not kill everybody. I had a feeling in my head this was some sort of trick, but it, I also thought, oh my god, they fucking killed them. Like, oh my god, like, no, they couldn't have fucking killed them, but they didn't. There was no deaths, absolutely no deaths in this part. So Tokyo was the only one to die in this season. Which is kind of a shame, because Helsinki's alive, that's all that matters, but... Just speaking of Tokyo, though, the whole thing of her narrating beyond the grave for the entire series is weird. I don't like that. They really... After they killed her off, they should have had no narrator, which they could have got away with, or used somebody else as a narrator. Because thinking now, every time Tokyo is narrated throughout the series, it's been beyond the grave, which is fucking weird, and I don't like that. I never really enjoyed the Bank of Spain arc. Like, Money Heist to me was always the Royal Mint arc, and that was the best one. And that could have been the finale. That could have been the series finale. The end of season two, or part two, could have been the finale, and I would have been happy. But you can, maybe in your own head canon, you can say that, but the official finale is a family tradition, and... But I agree, though, like, what Tamayo said, like, I thought you guys were Robin Hoods, but they just pretty much admitted they were thieves. But I don't like that. The whole... The profession never was about the money, never about the gold. It was more of the symbolism, the war. But they just... said they were thieves at the end, which kind of turned me off about the thing, because I thought the whole taking down the system arc was a really cool idea. Not just stealing shit, they were actually taking down the system. And how they replaced the... And they actually made it connect with the fucking Berlin arc, because the whole replacing the Viking treasure with, what was it, brass? Now they changed the gold ingots into brass, with the little dolly mask stamped on it, which was a cool touch, but... <sighs> yeah. It was honestly disappointing. It's a, it was a good finale. It was good, but it wasn't what I was expecting. I was overhyping it. After waiting three months for that, like, September 3rd to December 3rd was agonizing, but it wasn't worth the wait, honestly. The first two episodes were amazing, but the last three were disappointing. I'm not going to say bad, I'm just going to say disappointing. I'm going to give the whole season five, uh, six out of, six out of ten, yeah. I'm not, a, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the whole Bank of Spain arc. Like, in my personal... If I ever rewatch Money Heist, it's just gonna be the first two seasons, honestly, because I actually enjoy those ones, because Berlin was in it. And, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. That's the verdict. I know it might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm not a fan of the season. No, the volume, I should say, because the first part of... Volume 1 of Part 5 was amazing, but this one was kind of... 
But they didn't kill off Octuro. They didn't end that. He's alive somewhere. He's all that we know is the surgeon came in and told Monica he's alive. And that's it. Oh, yeah. Very disappointing. This very disappointing, and that's all I'm gonna say, I guess. So instead of calling it disappointing like six hundred more times for two hours, I think I'm just gonna end it off here. So thanks for watching these last six videos and yeah, it's fun, and I'm probably never going to do a series review like this ever again, because it's a pain in the ass. Because I almost dread it at the end of every episode, I'm like, fuck, I'm going to have to make a video and upload it and edit it before I can watch the next one. Because I just wanted to watch the next one, but I had to sit and talk about it, but... After this, I don't think there's any more series I'm going to do. Maybe, eventually, we'll, <laughs> we'll see when that day comes, if there's a series I'm interested in want to cover, but... I don't think so. So guys, thanks again for watching, and like always, live life to the fullest, and goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers.